there are some important settings on whatsapp that you need to change if you want to keep it more secure and private it can be annoying when you wake up and find yourself in a new whatsapp group that you didn't know about change this setting and no one will be able to add you to a new whatsapp group without your permission go to settings tap on privacy and you will see privacy check up tap on it and tap on groups select my contact accept and mark all your contacts then save it by doing so nobody is going to be able to add you in a whatsapp group without your permission as we know there are whatsapp calls both audio and video and it can be a problem when all of a sudden you start receiving calls from people that are not on your contact list let's just say unknown callers turn on this setting if you want to restrict calls from unknown contacts head back into settings tap on privacy then tap on privacy checkup and select who can contact you you will see silence unknown callers select and toggle it on scammers and hackers are constantly trying to hack into your whatsapp account to commit fraud or even get some personal information that belong to you if you turn on two-step verification it will be hard for anyone to ever access your whatsapp account now to turn it on go to settings account and select two-step verification turn it on and you have to put a pin that should be known by only you the pin should be private and should be only accessible by you if anyone should try to register your whatsapp account anywhere they need that pin and without it they can't be able to have access to your whatsapp account whatsapp will also ask you to provide the pin every now and then to further protect your account so it's very important to know your pin always this setting is very important if you want to safeguard your chats and keep them fresh when you switch between devices you need to turn on chat backup in the settings and to do that simply go to the setting tap on chats then tap on chat backup and by turning it on all your chats will be back up and when you switch to a uniform you can easily bring your chats back thereby keeping your memories alive you can set it to daily or weekly backup or even monthly depending on what you want there are times when we don't want to be seen online on whatsapp and if you used to stay hidden while online then go to settings tap on privacy tap on last scene and toggle it to nobody if you turn on this setting you won't also be able to know if someone is online or not you can lock your whatsapp or iphone on android and nobody will have access only when you open it for them kind of like the way you lock your phone with your fingerprint scanner or face id inside the privacy settings scroll down to app lock and enable fingerprint or face id if you use an iphone this will keep intruders away from your whatsapp the next thing you need to change is important if you don't want people to know if you read their messages they won't get the blue tick when you read their text messages on whatsapp go to settings tap on privacy and turn off the receipt the problem is that you won't also be able to see whoever view your your whatsapp status if you turn on this setting there are times when your smartphone will be packed with a lot of pictures and documents from whatsapp because by default it is set to download them when you are connected connected to a Wi-Fi or maybe even a any network go to settings tap on chats and toggle off media visibility media files won't take up any storage on your phone if you turn on this setting let's say you are tired of receiving messages from a particular group or person and you don't want to block them on whatsapp click on the three dots icon at the top of the chat or group and select mute notifications you can select eight hours one week or always depending on what you want and if you want to permanently block a contact on whatsapp then head over to that particular contact tap on on the three dots icon tap on more and you will see block that's it you've just blocked a contact and they won't be able to text or call you on whatsapp lastly you can now send hd images on whatsapp but it can be tiring to select hd each time you want to send an image on the app go to settings tap on storage and data then tap on media upload quality and select standard upload quality that way you will send hd images all the time without needing to toggle it on each time you are sending an image i know there are a lot more settings that i didn't talk about in this video so feel free to share it in the comment section with us subscribe and comment with the emoji showing on your screen right now and i'm going to see you in my next video thanks